H2O cloud submerged as a roll up. True that. In the K locked and on site when the Nets came. Uh-huh. Watching niggas spray for seven words when the Nets say. Did what we had to do. Full for the sensei. Uh-huh. Full body control. Did whatever the sensei. Now our numbers together shot up like the campaign. Link up with the pops, the dawn, Perry Young. Uh-huh. Yeah, heal it back at the olive tree. Yeah. Two branches of chain like former parolees. Be shy with the word cracking the concrete. Unity means an increase. That's how it should be. That's right. Yeah, blood thick in the water. Combined, uh, we could build. Call the Lord to heat up the borders. Joshua 6 united. It's an all out slaughter. Sons of Judah and Eve for more the size of the water. All this stuff, we got, cause we're visual people. We gotta see it to believe it, right? You know, somebody may tell you something. A lot, a lot of our people listen to what other people say, but we're gonna show you, thus says the Lord, according to the Bible. But we're gonna bring the examples out in the pictures, okay? So you, re- how old are you? You're 16, okay? So you're a young man, young man. You're still in high school. So guess what? You about to learn something I didn't know when I was 16 years. I knew about slavery, but I didn't know we were the people in the book. Right. That we were the Israelites. I did not know that, but now I know that. Read, read, read uh, verse uh, 15. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh-huh. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what is a curse? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. So God said... If you don't listen to what I tell you to do, I'm going to put curses on you. Meaning, I'm going to put evil things that's going to, it's going to befall you. It's going to happen to you. To these people here, the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans, we make up the 12 tribes, okay? Just to bring you up to speed. So he said, we'll be cursed. That's like when your parents, your parents tell you to do good in school, you get re- you do what you're supposed to do. School, clean, you know, stay out of trouble, clean your room, take out the trash. You get rewards, right? Those are blessings. But if you don't, you get chastised time to get your butt whooped, right? right? The belt come out, the switch, all that. That's called, that's a curse, okay? That's right. bad, evil things. We None of us want that. But read on. Cursed shall thy be in the season. So we here in Raleigh, North Carolina, right? When you go to the projects, you go down there to, um, on Ra- uh, was it Raleigh Boulevard? And you go down, what is it, uh, uh, Raleigh North Projects. Who you see in them projects? What people you see living in them projects? Don't be afraid. So, I mean, who? I'm, I'm asking you, what do you see? What people you see hanging out there across? And there's a food line across the street there. Who you see hanging out there? Our people, right? Blacks and Hispanics and right. Native Americans. Okay? Right. That's who you see that's in these harsh conditions, okay? I'm trying to bring it home to you. Read. And curse shall I be in the field. So we was here in the field of North Carolina. We were slaves. The, the, the blacks and the Native Americans were slaves here together in America, okay? The, the so-called Mexicans, they were slaves in Mexico, right. okay? The ones in Puerto Rico, they were slaves in Puerto Rico. They were picking sugar cane and all that and stuff. Uh, they, they had some tobacco and stuff that they picked too. But look, we picked all the main tobacco here, tobacco, corn, cotton, all that, all those resources. They got filthy rich off our back. They didn't, we, we didn't get paid nothing. Right. Think about it. We picked all that for free. Right. All that for free. So where right. all that money went to? They got filthy rich. That's why they got. I'm talking about they got slave money. When they say they got money, they go way back. Buku money. They talking about slave money off right. of your forefathers in them back. That's right. Read. Oh, hold up, hold up. It says, it says, curse, curse shall we be in the field? Even up today, we the first fired, last hired. We got work, work at Food Line, McDonald's, Burger King, and all that. Working nickel and dime. Busting bust our tail, man. Think about that. Minimum wage. Working hard and come back home and, and you and you broke. <laughs> right. You got enough money just maybe to pay your bills and you struggling. You may have to hustle on the side and get a little sidebar job to, to help you get over the hump. Right. All right, give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So when were our sons and daughters given to another people? What time period that happened? Do, do they? Do you know anything about slavery? They, they don't teach you this in school, do they? Your parents ain't never taught you. Your mom and dad, no. You got actual. You need actual parents. Your grandparents. They'll tell you about slavery. Okay, this, this wasn't that long ago. All right, you see this right here? They got movies on it. You ain't ever seen a movie Twelve Years Slave? You never right. seen that, right? Huh? You went to the movies to see that, right? So remember, her kids and stuff got got sold, got took them from her and and sold off. 
just like some pit bulls. Right. Think about it, you had dogs and you had the dogs have puppies. You sold the pit bulls off to make you some money. This is what he was doing to us like cattle. Right. Okay, they made big money off of us. Teeth, huh? And thine eyes shall look and fail with looking for them all the day long. So think about it in the movie. What was that? What happened to the female after her kids got sold? What what did she do? You don't remember it? She cried. You don't remember she was crying? She, she didn't want her kids to go. She's like, no, no, master, no, no. Don't don't take my kids from me. Don't do that. You remember? And she cried the whole movie. Remember the, remember the, the main character in the movie was like, he was like, man, how long are you going to keep crying for your kids? They're gone. Let them go. Let it be. You know, but she still cried because she still mourned right. all the day long, like the Bible said. Read. And up. there shall be no might in thine hand. No power. You have no military might to get your children back. Still today, when our people, when they when they get bugged out on drugs or they get caught up in some foolishness, the kids get taken away from them. The, the kids go to D, DSS or DCYF, whatever it's called. Hey, the kids get taken from them. Then they got to go to court and fight back for the kids. A lot of times they don't get their kids back. Right. Kids go into orphanage or kids get, um, uh, what do you call it, adopted by somebody else. You know, huh? Foster care. You know what I'm saying? And you may ask, you got somebody else raising kids that don't look like you. Right. Or they may... Uh, abuse your kids sexually assault uh, uh, we call rape your kids and stuff like that read 33 the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up so think about what happened when the um when the so-called white man came over here what happened? who was over here first the native americans were here right remember hey who came and took all took over this whole land look this place here wasn't called Raleigh, North Carolina. Right. Raleigh named after Sir Walter Raleigh. Right. That's a white man. Right. Okay? You see, um, you got like North Carolina, South Carolina, you got Virginia. You got all these little cities, man, and towns. A lot of them are named after a so-called white man, okay? Right. Right. Hold that. Give me, I want you to give me uh, Psalm 48 and 11 real quick. I'm going to prove this to you. Just like what they call us today, they, they call a lot of us African Americans, right? So I'm going to ask you a question. How can you come from two continents? How can you be named after two continents? But you live here, it's right here, right now in America. And then, here's, here's another kicker right here. This is gonna make you think. Um, what is America's name after a Roman navigator called Amerigo Vespucci? Right. That's right. Okay, that's a white man. And Africa, the name Africa, it was called the land of Ham in the Bible. But they called it, they named it after a Roman general. Right. Leo Scipio Africanus, right. he conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic Wars. And they named that land after his name. Right. So let's read what you got here real quick. Read. 49 11. Read. Psalms chapter 49 and verse 11. Thou, it was thus, thou, it was thus is, that their houses shall continue forever. So this is what the so-called white man, his his mindset and this thought is that they're gonna they're gonna rule over us forever. That's why they pump the drugs, all this stuff. They keep us in, in a tight community so that we get frustrated with each other and kill each other because right now we're spiritually disconnected we don't know who we don't know who, who christ or what christ looked like we out. think christ looked like them right. so we when we see them we see christ Jeez. but really christ looked like you brother yeah. i'm gonna that that right. next to you okay read and their dwelling places to all generations think about it they're dwelling places to all generations they got a military base all over the world and, and u.s embassy all over the world that's why you, you can get passport you can go to any country you can go you know, that you want to go to. As long as you got the passport and get you a visa, you can go there. And everybody speaks English, okay, right. in all those countries. Their second language is English. You'll be shocked when you go talk to them and they can speak English. you be like, damn, I didn't know that. But we only speak one language. They speak multiple languages right. in right. other countries. Read. They call their lands after their own name. They call their what? They call their lands after their own name. See all these, they see all these uh, the continents here? You got Europe. You got Africa, you got North America, South America, all all this stuff, all those places. There, there's um, there's countries and there's states and things of that nature um, that's in those lands. And they all name after the so-called white man. I want you to understand that. Shalom. Hey, brother, how you doing today? Then? Doing all right, brother. What's your name? Pitt. Who? Pitt. P-I-T-T. Pitt. Okay, brother Pitt. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Nahum. And we got, what's your name again, brother? Van. Man, M-A-N-N? M-A-N. M-A-N. So we got Brother Man and we got Brother Pitt. So we're going over here today. We're teaching black history in the Bible. Yes. Right. People, who they are according to the Bible. 
and people don't know who they are. We don't. Right. One thing, y'all know who you are to know where you're going. Okay, so I'm bringing them up today according to the curses that the Most High said. What that's going to happen to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Okay, this this only happened to us. We only fit the curses in the Book of Deuteronomy. Okay, so the only way to, the way for us to get out of these curses is to come back and keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Okay, read Deuteronomy. Read, 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 uh, go back to uh, Psalm 40, Psalm 49, 11. I was showing him that the land masses today on some of these cities, some of these states. They got the names after our slave masters, okay? And, and the Bible talk about that. Read. Psalms, chapter 49, and verse 11. Bring it up. The thought is that their houses shall continue forever. That's what's on their mind. Their mindset is that they're going to be here forever. They're going to always rule over us. Our people don't even, like, can't even recollect that. You know what I'm saying? We walk around, we in the midst of everything, but we're not. We, we spiritually disconnected from this. We don't even know what's going on around us, but they think that they're going to rule over us forever, but the Bible say different. Read. And they're dwelling places to all generations. Uh, they all over the whole earth. You got military bases. You got U.S. embassies That's set up right. all throughout all these countries. Think That's about right. it. That's you right. know, you, you can get a passport and fly to any country you want to and there's somebody, everybody there speak the same. They speak your language. Your language is the universal language in the world. That's okay? Right. Everybody have has have to speak English. Mandatory. They have to speak English as a second language. Right, okay, right. read. They call their lands after their name, after their own name. So they call their lands after their own name. So I, I go here to Raleigh, North Carolina. Who, what is Raleigh name after? Uh, yeah. What is what is the city Raleigh? What is it named after? Who is it? What white man is the name after? Sir, Sir Walter, Walter. Sir Walter Raleigh. Okay. Right. Charlotte named after Queen Charlotte. That's right. You got a uh, Fayetteville named after George Lafayette. Okay. Right. That's a that's a French general. So you got all these different names. You be like, man, these counties. Think about it. Think about you might have seen some of these counties, and they, and they may be the same last name as your last name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got, you got Moore County. You got uh, shoot, we got Franklin County. You got these are people's last names. Right. So that's where they, they get these. The, the Bible tells you, it, it's gonna give you hints to show you something. Hey, wake up, wake up. Why is this? The answer's here. Right. The answer always been here. So go go back to Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Go to verse 32. No. Verse 32 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Bring it out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So our sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh, Brother Pitt, what time frame did, did this happen in life? Uh, the the, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, children were given to another race of people. When did this happen? I'm asking you. When did this happen? We, we just went over this. Let me see if you're paying attention. When did this happen? Come come up here and look at the sign real quick. Look at the sign right here, brother. This is the hint right here. Look at the sign. When did this happen? You see this on his neck? Thank you. Slavery. Darn slavery. Hey, brother, how you doing today? What's your name? Gary. Gary. Hey, brother Gary, we teaching black history. Teaching about the truth about slavery. Right. Teaching the history of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So during slavery, our sons and daughters were given to another people. Also today, when we don't take care of our kids, what happened? They come and take our children from us. Right? Real quick. The white people, they don't take that, kids that, that fast from them. But they'll snatch your kids up in a minute and put them at DCYF and put them in foster care. Right. Okay? I mean, just take them from you. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So now you're crying for your kids. You seen the movie 12 Years Slave? You seen Roots, right? Y'all seen that, brothers? Right. Y'all seen them, them slave movies, right? What happened What, what happened when the, um, in 12 Years Slave when that, when that female and her children were taken? What happened? What she do during the whole movie? She cried the whole movie. Right. You don't remember? She cried the whole movie. Remember when when Kunta Kinte, when his his daughter Kizzy was taken, his wife and him, they were crying. They, they, they wanted to have, they wanted her to have her back. They, but the master sold her off to the to the next master. That's right. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Think about it. He had no power. Why? Because he was a slave. Right. What, 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 if he would have jumped up and bucked up to the slave master, what would have happened? Matter of fact, in the movie. They pulled a gun out on Tony. You better back your tail up. Right. Like they, they'll put you on one of them trees, man. These big trees with big limbs and hang you. Or, or, or lean you over the tree and whip you, beat you to death. That's right. Think about that. Who that happened to? 
establish to us That's as right. a people, man. That's right. To blacks, them same, the, the, your brothers and sisters too, that live in the ghettos and the slums right. with us, the Hispanics and the Native Americans, they went through the same atrocities. That's the right. same thing. That's why we fit the curses. Give me verse 41. Deuteronomy 28, verse 41. Uh -huh. Thou shalt be get sons and daughters. Huh? But thou shall not enjoy this. We won't enjoy our kids. Why? Because the kids got sold off. Or if you still had your children amongst you, guess what? You was working in the field. We here in North Carolina know kind of famous for tobacco. Right? It's called Tobacco Road. We pick all that tobacco for uh, R.J. Reynolds and all that. Think about that. We did that. You go down to Mississippi, they tell you, they welcome to cotton country. This where all the cotton was picked at. Okay? You go to Puerto Rico, they'll... Puerto Rico and the rest of the Caribbean where the Latinos and, and our brothers the uh, the uh, the West Indian blacks, guess what? They, they were picking sugar cane. Even right. in Haiti, they were picking sugar cane. Right. Okay? They got rich off that right. sugar. Right. Right. For they shall go into captivity. They will go into slavery. Even today, our kids, we don't we don't put a tight grip on our kids. What happened? They get locked up. Right. They go to juvenile. Then they go into you know, juvenile detention and they get locked up in prison. Now you're going to go see your kids do it right, right in front of a glass wall. Right. Uh, what you call it? Oh, 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 plexiglass wall. Right. Give me verse um, 46, 45. Watch this right here. Do the word. 28 and 45. Bring it out. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. So all these curses going to come upon thee and pursue thee. So are you, is your family originally here from North Carolina? Where, where did you come from? From Virginia, right? So you here in VA, right? What about you, uh, uh, Brother Pitt? From here and you, sister? Yeah, Carolina. I mean, brother, I'm sorry, huh? Yeah, Carolina. For Carolina? Okay. Carolina. All right. Your people down here from Carolina. My people, my people here from yeah. Carolina, too. Yeah. But you came from Virginia. Think about it. What part of VA are you from? Hampton. So you got there, Hampton, Newport News, and all that. Hey, look. Hey, you left there. The same same thing you was going through there is going. Is happening to you right here. Same crap. You can't run from it, brother. Said, read, it, read it again from the top. No. All these curses. Shall come upon thee. They're gonna and come upon you, read. And shall pursue thee. Pursue thee means to follow you. Wherever you go, okay, you leave this country. Or you can go leave the planet. They they can set some they got a, a space station up there. You don't think it's some you don't think it's racism going on up there in the space station? Well they may have some 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 black astronauts or Hispanic astronauts. They get treated different than the white astronauts. Bring <laughs> think it about out. that. Read. And overtake thee. Uh-huh. Till thou be destroyed. Till, until you die. Until you live here on your time until you die or until Christ come back. Okay? More? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't want to do what God told us to do according to the scriptures here. Okay? He gave us law, statutes, commandments. This was our heritage. This All we had to do was follow this. But we didn't want to do it. We want to do what we want to do. Oh. Think about it. We are hard-headed people. Stiff-necked rebellious. Yes. We run around. I'm, 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 I'm a crib. I'm a blood. I'm a, I'm a GD. I'm a vice lord. I'm all this... Latin kings, all that stuff. Think about it. We want to do what we want to do, and that stuff ain't nothing but death in that. Yes. Death and murder ain't nothing. Read. To keep his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Right. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So now these curses, right, they're going to be upon you for a sign. Uh -huh. So that's, what uh, restaurant is that over there that's, that's in the corner there? What is that over here? Burger King, right. So you want to go to Burger King? Y'all want to go to what? How do you know that that's Burger King? How do you know if it's Burger King? Uh, I mean, if you had McDonald's, you had Burger King. How can you tell both of them from one another? The name, right? Or the arch for McDonald's, and you got that burger, right? For Burger King, or they say Burger King. It's the sign. The sign identifies what that restaurant is, right? So these curses. You can read this and relate this today, what's going on in your life, and it's, going, it's a sign to show you who you are in the last days. Okay? Right. That you are these people, the Israelites. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a word. Now you wonder why we get uh, George Floyd, get choked out from the police, knees on your, on your neck. Right. You get shot up. Mike, Br you know, Mike Brown, all this stuff. All this happened to our people, man. Yeah. Think about that. Why we got all the drugs in our community? Why ain't no drugs in the in the Edomite community, the white people community? You, uh, you can go over there across over Hillsborough Street, over there where, uh, where NC State at. You don't see that. You don't see, they see all big mansions, nice houses, and things of that nature, right? Why, why ain't it like that ain't where you live at? Read. And upon thy seed 
Forever. This curse gonna be on you forever to show you who you are. Read. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. We didn't want to do this with joyfulness nor gladness of heart. Read. And with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. We want to do what we want to do. Right. We want to do what the other nations want to do. Right. You gotta remember, your God chose you. What club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. Deuteronomy 76. Hold that. I'm going to prove everything I say out of the Bible. The Bible answers itself. Hey, that, that's what the preacher's supposed to be teaching you. They ain't going to teach you, thus said the Lord. He going to tell you all this and that. They going to pass their collection plate and take your money. Right. And, and buy him a buy him a Alexis. Right. Buy him a mansion while you still live in the hood. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 70 verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art in the holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They are holy people. Holy right. means to be separate, okay? Right. You are separate people, okay? Meaning separate from everybody else. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He did what? Has chosen thee. I thought we chose God. That's what some of our people say. Well, I, I, I like this God. What did God do? The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He said a special people unto himself. Right. Think about it. You woke up today. You say, I'm going I'm to I'm rock those shoes, those, those, those red, them black and them red shoes. I'm going to rock that champion shirt today out of the rest of the shirts you had. God said, hey, out of all the nations on the earth, he said, I chose them to be my people. Hey, okay, right. and they are right. special people. Right. The, the best people, and they're the people of his image. Okay, you got to look at that. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God is racist too. He said, I chose you out of all the other nations. Right. That upon the face of the earth and set you that you on a high stature. And that's why I deal with you differently. But read on. The Lord did not set his love upon you. He didn't set his love upon you. Why? Nor choose you because you were more in number. It wasn't because we had a lot of people or whatever. Remember, we was, we was in Egypt at this time, going through slavery. But this is all from the beginning. Always, you know, God chose us from the very beginning. Really. Right. There ain't any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. We were the fewest of all people at the time, okay? We, be, we became a nation in, in um, what you call it, in Egypt, okay? During that slavery, we became a nation. Remember, they was calling us the children of Jacob or the children of Israel. And then we became the nation of the, the nation of Israel. Read. Right. But because the Lord loved you. Because God loved you. You got to remember that because the Lord loved you. He loved all of us, okay? Right. Just like your mom loved you. You mess up, your mom whoops that ass. Okay, same thing. God said, I'm going to whoop you. I'm going to prove that. Read. And because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers. He keep the oath which he sworn to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. You heard of them before, right? Y'all heard of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Those are your forefathers. That's right. Okay, read. How you doing, sis? Has the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand? The God brought us out with a mighty hand. Remember, he used Moses to bring us out of Egypt. Read. And redeem you. Out of the house of bondage. The house of bondage is talking about Egypt, okay? He took us out of Egypt. So, um, is there more? Read. From the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. That's the proof right there. So give me um, Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Watch this. This is, this is why the punishment is happening to us right here. Remember, God, he chose you. We didn't choose God. God chose the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans to be his people, okay? Right. These are the people of color. This is why we got these atrocities, uh, all these bad things happening to us. Those are curses that's put on, a, on us according to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. I know you're just walking up, sis. sis how, what's, your, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle. Michelle, come listen to me. We got you, Michelle. We got Brother Pitt. We got Brother Man. Oh, we're going to get some of this. We're going to get this big glass of milk, okay? Yes. Bring Read it what up. you got. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. Oh, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's us today, all of us. Read. I guess the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Say. What did God say? Oh, my God. You only have I known 
of all the families of the earth. He said, God said, I only know you. Why? Because I gave you my oath. I gave you my law, statutes, and commandments. I passed all this down. I gave a pro I, I put a promise to your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Okay, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. That's right. His children became all the descendants of the forefathers, the, the, the tribes of Israel. Their hey, children. God. Okay, that's y'all fall in on this side. Read. Right. Therefore, I will punish you He's, for all your iniquity. He's going to do what? What is God going to do? I will punish you. For all your iniquity. That's the curses. I'm going to punish you with them curses for all your iniquity. Iniquity is going to sin. Right. When we break his commandments, you get judgment for it, okay? And, it, and the Lord have mercy for us, too. But some people, he got, hey, some people got to be an example. Some people got to take out because they's too bugged out there. Never get right. right. He knows what's going to befall them. So he had to kill them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all remember the, the, the God you serve? Y'all remember he killed everybody in the flood? Right. He killed babies. He killed women, men, everybody. He killed, every, destroyed everybody, but saved four, was it four people, eight, eight people, eight, eight people. He saved, he, he saved um, uh, Noah and his four sons with their wives. Okay, all of them had one wife. Everybody has one. All of us got one wife. Name right. multiple wives. Like you may hear another Israelite group teach that only one man, one wife. Okay, that's right. can't have no multiple wives. That's right. That's that's BS. Right. That's, when we get the kingdom, that's different. But right now we is not in the kingdom. Right. Okay, so uh, give me um, go yeah, give me give me Amos three and three just to, just to um show you proof that all this evil comes from God. Read the book of Amos chapter three, three, three verse six. The book of Amos chapter three and verse six. Bring it out. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? So shall a trumpet be blown? A trumpet is a loud instrument, right? He says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city? We hear a trumpet blown, it's going to catch everybody's attention. That's a horn. Like, that's why they got a horn. A horn is, is in the trumpet family. When that thing blows, it startles, it alerts everybody, right? So now he says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and what? And the people not be afraid. This is a warning, okay? A people, the people should, shall the people not be afraid? Read. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? He says, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Let's find out. Hold that. Give me uh, Isaiah 45 and 7. We're going to find out who, do, who does the evil. Everybody said it's the devil. The devil this, the devil that. The devil worked for God. That's okay? Ain't, ain't no no angel. There was no war in heaven and all that. Right. This, this, that's going into a prophecy about something. But it was no no angel out there doing, doing what he wanted to do. Right. Like when he, when he, when he went to go uh, test Job, he has permission. God told him, go ahead on and do that. Okay? He didn't go do this on his own will. That's right. Read what you got. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 7. Uh -huh. I formed the light. God said, I formed the light. In the beginning, right? You remember he created all things. I formed the light. Read. And create darkness. And create darkness. Okay. Now you got day, you got sun, you got the, the sun, you got you got darkness at night, right? But also the light is going to keep you being righteous, you keeping the commandments. Darkness is going to sin. Read. I make peace. He said, I make peace, right? Read. And create evil. And what? And create evil. God said, I created evil. Right. I Read on. I, the Lord, do all these things. He said, I do all these things. I'm the one right. that put people to death. Gee, people don't believe right. that. That white man, that the guy that, that, that that's running the earth today, that looked like that man right there, he run around, got everybody believing a lie. Okay? That's what it's talking about in Revelations. He's going to have everybody believing a lie. Right. Okay, read. That's the, that's, that's the mark of, I mean, that's the, um, the beast, okay, that it's talking about. Oh, I want you to hear one more. I want you to hear one more scripture, brother. One more. Hey, Revelation 1 and 1. So my question asks you and you, what color is Christ? Starting with you there, brother Pitt. What color is Christ? I can't I can barely hear you. No, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Yes. What color is Jesus the Christ? I'm gonna ask you, what color is Jesus the Christ? What are you told? And, and when you was coming up, what were you told? That told that he looked like a Caucasian. Can you find that in the Bible? Is that image in the Bible? Can you find that he looks otherwise different? Is that in the Bible? We're going to find out today. That's why I want you to leave. I want you to hear this. And I want you to chew the cud when you go home and think about this. Read Revelation right, 1 and 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. Revelation of Jesus Christ. So now we're going to read about the revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word of revelation is to reveal. That's what it's going to reveal, what's going to take place in these last days. So we're going to reveal Christ to you. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, 
Which God gave unto him. Which God gave unto him. We're going to find out what did God give unto Christ. Read. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Who are the servants of God is the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. To his servant John. This is going into John the Revelator, okay? That's John. This is John the Revelator. He wrote the book of Revelations, okay? Read. Verse, Hello, sis. verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it says Christ, his head, the hairs on his head, and the hairs on his face, because he had a beard, were white and wooly. What people on earth got wooly texture hair? I'm going to start with you, sis. Who got wooly texture hair on their head? You don't know? Brother, Pitt, who got wooly hair on top of their head? Huh? We do. Yes, right. Look at that brother. Hey, right. sister, touch your head. Touch the top of your head. That's wool. That's like right. a sheep. Yes, that's right. what that's what he's talking about. We got, our hair is is wooly and texture, okay? We, that all the people walk, walking around here bleaching their hair blind and straightening it out, trying to look like that image there, trying to look like they oppressor. That's but hey, that's crazy. You gotta ask yourself that. You got the best hair. That's right. You got the best hair. They got dog stringy hair. Three. That's right. As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. So his hair was fully white. That's what we would call it. somebody with gray hair, okay? That's what that's going into. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Christ's eyes was a flame of fire, not like Cyclops. He wasn't shooting yeah, out beams. Give me that priest up there. Give me that priest up in Genesis 49 and 12. Get that, get that ready. So you see in the picture there, the whites of his eyes is red. This picture here shows you that they gave us a blonde hair, blue eyed guy. I just showed you two things already that contra that contradicts what the scriptures say. So why they got you believing in that? Read. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Pick it out. His eyes shall be red with wine. So Christ, he's prophesied all the way back in the beginning, all the way through Genesis, okay? And they said his eyes gonna be red with wine. What was Christ's first miracle? What was his first miracle? He, he, he changed water into wine at a wedding. You don't think Christ drank some of that wine? Right. Christ was drinking. Well, he drank too. Right. He drank in moderation. He wasn't no drunk. But whenever we drink a little bit, the whites of your eyes get red. Right. Nothing wrong with a little drink. Right. But don't get drunk. Right. Read. Oh, give me. Go back. Go back. Do the Revelation. Read. Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 15. Yeah. And his feet like unto fine bread. So I'm glad you out here, sister. I'm glad you out here with some flip flops. So we can look at your feet. All the man gonna look at your feet and you gonna look at your feet. So look at your feet real quick. What color is your feet? Your, what, what color is your feet? Your feet ain't no orange, you the same complexion as me. What color is your feet? Your skin on your flesh. No, what color is your flesh? No. Brother, what color is your feet? Brown, sister. We are different shades of brown. Now, that's my question I ask you. Well, it said his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. Golden. No, not no golden. Brown. Bronze is brown. When you see, when you look at, look, when you look at the Olympics, they're going to show you. You got a gold medal, you got a silver medal, and you got a bronze. The bronze is brown. Dark brown. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Uh -huh. As if they burned in their so I take that brass and I put it in, in the stove. A hot furnace. What color that brass gonna come out? Huh? Black. Black. Dark skin. Christ was a very dark skinned man. So who the hell is this? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Who is that? Who is this dude? Who they who is this dude they got everybody on the earth worshiping? You have to ask yourself that. Everybody worship this image. I don't care what they say. If you ask, if I go ask a Muslim, who, where's Christ at? They're going to point at that image. Right. Okay? If I ask somebody who do Hinduism or Buddhism, they're going to point at that image. If I pull it up online, if I say, I want to type in Jesus the Christ, this Caucasian image, that's Cesare Borgia. Pope, Ale Pope right. Alexander VI of Rome, that's his son. Right. right. They brought that out. This is a lie. Okay? So, read on. And it's feet. Like a fine bread. Uh -huh. As if they burn in their furnace. As if they burn in the furnace. Dark skin, read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. I mean, Christ spoke very loud. He had to speak to thousands of people at one time. He wasn't speaking all stuff like you see in the movies. Oh, Peter, Peter, hey, Paul. Paul. He didn't do that. He spoke loud with authority. Right. This is a big black man. That's right. Okay? Give me, 
I want 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. We're going to find out who, who, the, who the heck is this? I, I just read you something different. I read you more of this image. I'm not saying that's Christ, but we say he looks more like that. Like, like if somebody came and robbed Food Lion and they, they didn't get a picture of him. They're going to ask everybody that was there as witnesses, can you give me a description? And they're going to make out a description, a sketch. That's what we got right there, okay? Read. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. Bring it out. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Who came and preached another Jesus? What man on the earth preached another Jesus than what we what we preaching today? Uh, the white man, right? Right, right. Hold that. Give me um, Job 9 and 24. Hold that real quick. Watch this right here. This is our forefather Job. Job prophesied some stuff that he saw the Most High give him visions. Most High speak to us in multitudes and allegories, right. and he speak to you in dreams, okay? Right. And he also spoke to us by the angels. But let's find out what Job seen. Read the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Bring it out. The yeah. earth is given into the hand of the wicked. God said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. You got to remember, God is in control over everything. He said, you know what? Now I'm going to give the earth to the wicked because my people, you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, don't want to serve me. Guess what? I got somebody for you to serve. So guess what? I'm going to give the earth to the hand of the wicked. We know who the, we know who it is. We're gonna we're gonna paint the picture for you. Read. Bring it out. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Who is the ultimate judge? It's God right. and Jesus Christ. And you got the, the the twelve apostles. You got the Israelites. We're gonna be the judges, okay? As long as we're keeping the commandments to get the kingdom, we're gonna judge the earth, okay? So who covered the faces of the judges to make them look like them? The so-called white man, right? Read. Job chapter nine verse twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Uh -huh. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Uh huh. If not, where and who is he? He tell he said, if not, where and who is he? What man did that? Who did that? Who covered the face of Christ? Right. Who made Christ look like them? Right. Think about that. Now go back to that. Give me that Second Corinthians eleven and four. Sac Watch this. Read. Second Corinthians eleven and four. Right. For if he that come and preach. Another Jesus. Who preached that white man? The so-called white man forced his image and said that it was Christ. But Christ looked like you. And he said the Israelites look like them. It's them, but it ain't them. It's you. It's always been you. The Bible always been about you. Us blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Read. Who we have not preached. Our forefathers never preached that image. They never preached that. John the Revelator brought out that image in the book of Revelation. He said everybody's going to be serving the image of the beast. Teach, right? Right? That image right there, Cesar Borgia. Right. Okay, read. But if you receive another spirit, if you receive another spirit or another gospel, another good news, you start believing that doctrine because it fooled all of us. Read. Which he have not received. Uh -huh. Or another gospel, which he have not accepted. He uh -huh. might well bear with him. You might as well die, get ready to die when Christ comes. Because if you believe in this image, Christ going to kill you. When Christ comes back, you ain't even gonna know who Christ is. Yeah, right. Okay? You ain't gonna know that he looks like you. You ain't gonna know he have woolly hair like you. Okay? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.